Hey, Mudskipper Motors here. Today we are going to do a comparison video of two different surface drives that we currently offer. The first is this model. This is the 13 light surface drive. This is our new lightweight 13 to 16 horsepower surface drive. I'll show you all the features of this kit. And we are comparing this to the former SE300, our Thai surface drive that we've been calling the Revolution surface drive for the last uh, seven or eight years. I'll give you a few features of both of these kits. Uh, both of the engines are the same. They are the Mudskipper 16 horsepower electric start single cylinder engine. Uh, it's just the surface drives themselves we're comparing. The engine itself retails for $399. Uh, in both cases. So the SC300 is driven by a triple roller chain, um, does not come with a clutch or any kind of uh, different gearing. This is a chain tensioner here and the chain uh, spring behind which keeps the tensioner tight and basically this kit spins a uh, one-to-one -one ratio and the PTO crankshaft is spinning, so is the propeller. So there's no, no neutral gear on this kit. The SE300 retails for $899. That's the cost of just the kit by itself, not including the gasoline engine attached to it. And this is the mechanism and drive shaft for the 13 light. You see, first and foremost, it's driven by a synchronous belt, so it makes it a lot lighter. This kit retails for $999, so it is $100 more than the SE300, but uh, in our opinion, worth absolutely every penny. Number one feature of this kit, of course, is that it uses this inertial clutch, so there's a neutral gear. So when you start your engine, your propeller is not automatically spinning. This kit also has one-to-one -one gear ratio. That clutch is a definite nice feature to have. Probably the next most important feature, uh, besides the body of the unit itself, the SC300 is a welded steel frame. The kit itself weighs 75 pounds. And the 13 light is aluminum and it weighs 53 pounds. So it is over 20 pounds lighter than the SC300. Comparing the transom mounts, and the trim adjustment mechanisms for these two kits. The SE300 is a little bit um, you know, more difficult to change uh, the uh, propeller height. You would basically have to be in a, in a dry dock situation, have the boat out of the water, and you remove these two bolts. You can lower and raise the entire engine down on this mechanism here. And as well as that, you see there's a trim adjustment screw here, which raises and lowers the base, which will actually change the propeller depth. The newer 13 light, however, is a lot more simple to do. It uses a, a little knob here. You can tighten and loosen this down. This will change the trim as you drive. So you do not need to take this kit out of water. You do not, ha do not have to have the kit off of your boat. It'll, it'll easily modify um, just as you're sitting inside. And this little bolt back here is just a belt tensioner. The SC300 is painted steel. Uh, it is stick welded. And at the bottom here, you've got a standard two blade aluminum propeller. The 13 horsepower light is aluminum. It's MIG welded and it uses a solid stainless steel propeller. Uh, two other differences with these kits um, there's a lot more lock nuts on this kit. You'll see the one in the propeller here, and also the lock nut which holds the transom uh, mount to the engine base here on the 13 light. And the SC300 just uses a standard hex nut here. Um, I, we would advise putting a Loctite on it. And also the brass propeller nut has a lock washer, but this is not a lock nut, obviously. The SE300 uses steel fasteners um, in every application. Some of them are chrome plated. They are all steel here. 
and the fasteners which hold the tail assembly on. Uh, these are steel as well. All of the fasteners here are painted black. Uh, but they're all steel and the ones that hold the cover on also steel. The 13 horsepower light, however, uses all uh, 316 stainless hardware throughout. So definitely a nice feature on this kit. Inside the drive shaft of the propeller tube itself, uh, the SC300 uses a type of Arbor Vitae. Uh, it's a wood bushing inside there, and inside the sleeve here, they're also wood bushing. They are very low maintenance, don't require lubrication, uh, but those bushings inside there are made of wood. Um, on the 13 horsepower light, um, they're all stainless steel sealed roller bearings up the length of this shaft. Uh, there's one here inside near there with grease fitting uh, down by the propeller end. And again, more sealed roller bearings in the base of the main housing itself. The SC300 has a straight two-piece tiller handle. Um, the two-piece connection is right here uh, so that it ships in one box. The tiller handle is uh, separated into two separate pieces. A little wider down here uh, with a grip. There's there's no um, you know, rubberized coating or anything. That is bare uh, steel there. And one notable feature of this kit, it has a small little thumb uh, throttle control. So basically with this, there's no spring return in this action. You have to accelerate and decelerate when you want to slow down. So if you let off of the throttle when the engine's running, the engine will not go back to idle. Um, it will sit at the exact same setting you've left it at. So you do have to, um, you know, put it back to idle. Um, the one notable thing about this kit is it does not have a kill switch installed, but we do send a kill switch with every one of our kits. The 13 light uh, uses an ergonomic tiller handle. It's got this bend in it here, which makes using it when you're stood up in your boat uh, a lot more easy. Uh, you can turn it from side to side so you can make the throttle um, control any which way you like. It does come with a kill switch just like the other kit. And it also has a rubberized grip here, which is more comfortable on your hands. And it has an all aluminum throttle lever as well. So. And depress the throttle and when you let off the throttle or let go it will spring back if not all the way to idle uh, pretty close the sc300 uses this two point uh, wing bolt transom system here so you tighten down these two on your transom you may need to put something in here to thicken up your transom if it's thin and on the back you see there's um you know there's nothing there you could also put a, a bolt th directly through your entire transom if you wanted but uh, anyway there's two bolts on there to tighten this kit up the 13 light uses three points and you'll see the transom is a little different it's got these reinforced ribs just for added strength and the same with this feature here too you can also drive a stainless uh, bolt or screw directly through your transom this cutout here is in case you want to put the kit on a boat that has a center line uh, rib. The SC300 has a smaller skeg. The skeg is the fin underneath the propeller which keeps you off of rocks in the bottom. Uh, and these two bolts here tighten down the tail into the main housing and the unit has this support brace here which goes to um, the PTO housing on the tail. One thing I will note about this kit is that it has the potential, uh, because it tightens down these two bolts, it has the potential to, uh, if it loosens, to uh, wiggle a little bit like this back and forth uh, occasionally if you don't have these tightened down enough. The 13 horsepower light uh, Mud Skipper Surface Drive, however, is a little different. It has a much longer skeg on it, reinforced, and it also has this bracket here too, which tightens from the main body all the way down to the center of the tail. And you'll notice that the tail assembly is firmly bolted to the main unit itself, so there is no chance of wiggle room there at all. The main cover of this kit is held on by six bolts. Uh, we just left these a little bit loose here, but um, there is no vent of any kind or any way for any air to get into the body of this uh, unit. Um, the 13 light, however, does have a vented case here. Um, there's a way for air to get in there, dissipate uh, clutch heat. 
on the SE300, uh, there is no uh, bushing or bearing down this main sleeve. There is a center steel rod here uh, that runs right down the center of these. Um, obviously, you want to keep that lubricated. Um, on the Mudskipper light surface drive, there is a bronze sleeve that runs down here, uh, which makes the kit turn a lot more smoothly. The pivot on the SE300 is such that when you turn the propeller, it does come up on a slight angle. When you turn it tight, it gets more noticeable. Um, so the prop isn't exactly uh, flat the entire time it's operated. The Mudskipper light surface drive has a much smoother flow. No matter where you turn it, the prop stays at the exact same depth. So it's gonna make turning a lot easier and, and a lot safer. Overall, I think our technician took about an hour and a half to assemble the SE300. Um, it's a little more complicated because of the chain. Uh, the chain does require lubrication, so you would need to pour um, gear oil inside the housing. It does have a drain plug on the lower side. 13 horsepower light, took 40 minutes to assemble. There is no gear oil required for this kit. Uh, it does have a drain plug just in case you get water in there by accident, but because the unit is belt driven, there's no need to lubricate the inside of that unit at all. The tail assembly, however, would need marine grease. The overall cost of this kit with this engine, not assembled from us, but you'd have to assemble it yourself. Uh, the overall cost would be $1,298. And for the 13 light, we can have $1,398. I think the overall impression with this kit is that it is superior uh, in pretty much every way over the SC300, even though um, it is $100 more. Um, it is absolutely worth it. Um, we have some uh, some great videos of this kit coming on uh, on our little duck boat, the Swamp Ghost or the Swamp Wolf. So stay tuned for those, and uh, hopefully next time we have a, a video comparison, it won't be uh, minus 10 and snowing. <laughs>